What is going on everyone? Welcome to another video from Feature Tech. In this video, I'm going to be sharing my final thoughts on the Dyson TP04 tower fan. Let's get started. Before we get too deep into the video, I need you to ask yourself a couple questions. First, what is your budget? Because depending on what your budget is, maybe this is not the fan for you. I know that when I told several people I paid $550 for this fan, they thought it was insane. But really when I discuss the features more, you can either get you know, more interested into it and willing to pay the price, or you don't think the you know the features justify the price point so that's what it's going to come down to and the second question is what are you looking for in a fan are you looking for features or are you just looking for a fan to just cool you down on a hot day now these questions will really determine the fan that you're looking for now with this fan i would say that this is a high-end very high-tech fan that delivers on several factors which i'm going to go over in this video let me show you the first thing i'll start with with this fan is the two-in-one hepa and carbon filter that is one of the best features of this fan and therefore almost justifying the 550 dollars price point i say almost because there's other things but if air quality is important to you you should definitely consider this fan and do a little bit more research on it to see if it's the right one for you because other fans out there yes they might be cheaper but some of the fans out there only focus on giving you a cool breeze and that's it they don't focus on eliminating any bad air quality or allergens or dusts anything in your room or living room that's floating around that you're breathing in this fan is excellent for not only detecting it but eliminating it so not all fans are equal when it comes to that department the other thing i want to talk about is technology so a lot of people out there don't care much for technology because first of all they don't really need it or they think it's insane that a fan would have any type of technology involved so with this fan it is app enabled which means you have your own app and you can customize or do whatever you need to do with the fan via app such as controlling your fan speed oscillation any of these things you can control it via app instead of the physical remote so that gives you a bit of convenience also not to mention that the visual screen that you have on the fan itself is an excellent piece of technology that you will not find really in a lot of other fans out there that gives you as much details as it gives you such as your humidity level your air quality your air quality as well as the indoor temperature of the room or living room or wherever the fan is placed in and even the status of your filters that's an excellent excellent feature in my opinion that it gives you that visualization about when to cust when to i'm sorry to replace your filters so that's also a great indication that if you care about the technological aspects and features of a fan that's a great indication that this fan is great for you some things you do need to keep in mind is the filter cost down the road. So I've been using this fan for about five to six months approximately, and I'm getting close to needing that filter replaced. So keep in mind the filter is not cheap to replace. It would, it would actually retail about $100 to $120 to replace for you to get the official Dyson filter. Meanwhile, you can get a non-genuine Dyson filter for less money i'm gonna have another video on that comparing a real and fake genuine filter and showing you the differences between the two and letting you know my opinion on which filter to buy but as far as this fan keep in mind there will be running costs with this fan so expect that you're going to be replacing a filter every i mean i use this fan daily and for hours at a time so after five to six months of usage, I'm about at 80, 85% level of filter usage. So keep in mind that every about eight to nine months, you're going to be replacing your filter, which would cost anywhere from 40 to $120, depending on your preference. So here are my final thoughts on this fan. 
Again, it really depends on your budget and what you're looking for. Now, if you have a high budget, such as $550 and $600 for a fan, and you are looking for the latest and the best tech features in a fan, this is the fan for you. But keep in mind, there will be running costs to this fan. In order for the filtration system to work properly, it needs to be replaced about every eight to nine months based on my personal use. So keep that in mind that when you do get the fan, it's not a one-time thing. You know, you do have running costs with the filters. So far, I haven't encountered any issues with this fan that made me rethink my purchase. And with this price, you're also getting excellent customer service and tech support from Dyson's end, as well as their great warranty service. So definitely keep that in mind and give it a good thought if it's worth it for you. To a lot of people, nobody could care, but then other people like myself that cares about the air quality in my room or living room, I think this is an excellent fan that's worth the $550 plus price point. So definitely keep that in mind. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and let me know what you think. Take care, guys. Have a great day.